Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the special midweek edition of Focus on Liberia. My name is Dennis Jai, and we are broadcasting from Atlanta, Georgia. In our tonight's edition, we're going to be looking at the Liberia News Agency and the state of journalism in Liberia. My guest is the Director General of Lena, that's the Liberia News Agency, Kwame Opa Weeks. Mr. Weeks, welcome to Focus on Liberia. Uh, Brother Jad, thanks for having me. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Weeks is joining us from Monrovia by phone. Uh, he's joining us by phone from Monrovia, and we are so glad to have you. And uh, since this is your first time on Focus on Liberia, we want to extend you our ceremonial cola. So have our cola, Mr. Weeks, in good faith. Thank you so much. We want to welcome all our viewers from across the globe. This is Focus on Liberia, where we educate, we elevate, and promote all things Liberia. Mr. Weeks, we say uh, welcome again. And uh, by way of introduction, I said Mr. Weeks is the Director General of the Liberia News Agency. Mr. Weeks, you have the opportunity to, uh, for your opening statement, greet my viewers. Uh, thanks to all your uh, precious viewers, uh, and it's a good thing. I've been following your platform, and uh, like we spoke the last time, you have a great platform, very honest. Uh, uh, I come across uh, to talk about everything Liberian, and uh, uh, it is uh, more of, of fact-finding, factual, and uh, I mean, you, 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 you try to, you try to make everybody, you know. Uh, speak their mind uh, in, in whether they like it or not you ask some of the toughest questions uh and uh, you respect almost all the ethics of uh, this particular business and i just want uh, folks to know that uh, i'm looking forward to having a very very cordial and respectful debate tonight thank you so much mr weeks we want to welcome our viewers across the globe if you have not done so already please uh, share the show invite your friend and let's talk to the dg of lena Mr. Weeks, let's start with uh, Labron News Agency. Uh, I know uh, El Lena, but uh, just a little bit about the uh, Labron News Agency and what's the function? Uh, Liberian News Agency's function, uh, it was founded in 1979 uh, during the OAU, and uh, it was uh, founded uh, to, to propagate government's um, uh, 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 agenda. And, uh, you know, uh, it was uh, subsidized by the Germans then, and uh, because it was not 100% uh, autonomous, uh, the Germans after the war pulled back, uh, and then uh, now it is uh, fully funded by government. In uh, during the time of my predecessor, the late uh, Honorable Jenangwe Slaw, who was the uh, I think district number two uh, uh, lawmaker for Sino County, yeah. he left a bill behind to make sure that uh, the agency was. Uh, was uh, autonomous, uh, something that is still uh, at the lower uh, house now. But uh, the the whole goal of the agency was, uh, let's say, is about developmental journalism. And uh, you know, uh, like now, you know, we have donor fatigue. Uh, and there are a lot happening in the country, all around the world. Uh, uh, Lena is there, you know, to tell the folks uh, exactly what we're doing with donors' money, what government's next plans are, uh, you know, and, and uh, 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 we've been, since we took over, this is something that we've been doing. We have correspondence in every nook and corner of the country, uh, from Lufa all the way to, to uh, 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 you say, Riverside, to Grand Gita, everywhere we have, uh, we have uh, reporters there, and uh, mm -hmm. we have a uh, 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 regional supervisor, two regional supervisors, and, you know, we stack uh, a lot of reporters in at HQ, that is our headquarters here in Morovia, on the third floor, which we occupy at the Ministry of Information. So, so currently, uh, the uh, Lena is under the Ministry of Information. When you say Lena promotes government agenda, what does that agenda look like? comes out and that agenda says it is pro poor we propagate that nothing but what that particular government of the day you know wants to put out there whether because every government before you take over uh you have a manifesto in that manifesto if you are for say for example you are for uh, 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 
certain rights, uh, say voting rights, uh, we're going to propagate that. If you're for, uh, or you have a pro poor agenda like this one, uh, we're going to talk about the PAPD and uh, like this president and this government, it's uh, number one on its variety is roles, roles, healthcare, and all of these things. And so these are the things that we, we try. We do not fight to get into uh, gutter polis, uh, politics, uh, 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 propaganda. We do not get into gacha journalism. We fight to make sure that, uh, our, our, like you see the Lena uh, panorama, uh, to impact uh, society. So we were more of human interests and uh, uh, more versus putting country first, you know, uh, mm. trying to, you know, try to uh, uh, bring, you know, people down. That's not what we do at the Library News Agency. Right. So you tell me you have reporters all across the country. How do these Correct. reporters across the country, uh, how do their reporting support or promote government's agenda? Because you see, when we say government's agenda, we the, uh, the average person, what they get is uh, just do whatever government says, even if that's not true. I don't know what you mean when even if it is that, that is not true, mm -hmm. because government, uh, before you have a government, every government is appointed uh, 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 by the people. And uh, if authority, if, you, if you're more of a religious person, we all know that uh, the Bible tells us that, uh, uh, you know, authority comes from God. So I don't know if you're going to have a government that's going to lie to the people. Right. Like, like, I, like kind of so, propaganda, you know, like sometimes they just put a spin on stuff. Propaganda, propaganda is, not, is not a lie. A promotion is not a lie. Okay. But you embellish the truth just to make, to pin aside, you know, to look good. That, that's what I'm trying to get at. No, we, we, we only see the glass halfway full versus it being halfway empty. We stress that it is it is halfway empty, but it is full and we can get that, you know, and uh, fill the empty spot. Uh, all right. So so now, uh, how does the work of uh, Lena different with, uh, let, let me give you some uh, examples here. We have the Labyrinth Broadcasting System, LBS. I don't know if it's still called that. We, we, we have the uh, Ministry of Information. We also have Lena, and then we have the Presidential Press Secretary. Is there any overlap in their function as regards to promoting uh, no, government's uh, agenda? No, all of us, uh, all of us know exactly all of us know exactly what uh, what what our you know SOP or, 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 or operating procedures are. We all we all know that, and we try to we try to we try to respect that, and uh, uh, it, and so we do not overlap uh, our functions because one. If you're not uh, with the, let's take for example, there was just uh, a, 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 a breaking news that came out of e -Mansion. So, for example, they have it first. If they want us to have it, fine. But uh, they let it out to us, and then we 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 put it out there. They more an informative uh, 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 arm versus us. You know, they don't. They don't. You don't have e -Mansion all over the counties like ELBC and us do. So that's uh, that's. That's a whole thing, and we are more of a central news uh, collection agent of the state, of the state, and uh, uh, the only media institution in Liberia that has a national spread. You know, uh, other other will come to us. We're more like the the Costco or the Sam Sam's Club or the yeah. Walmart when it comes to news collecting, and that's our that's our area. And because we're all online, uh, uh, we. We don't have that other angle because now you see uh, 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 there is this uh, live streaming and all of that technology improves. So we, we try to gravitate towards that angle. That's why we introduce another mm -hmm. segment called uh, Elena Panorama. But normally the agency was built for that uh, where you come, uh, we supply all the local dailies. They can get news from us uh, uh, and subscribe. Of course, they will pay some little thing. But when something happens in the country immediately, we should be able to be the first to pick it up, which, of yes. course, is not the case now because of some falaj. Uh, are you there? Ladies and gentlemen, we are in conversation with the Director General of LENA, that's Mr. Kwame Weeks.
He's joining us from the phone, on the phone from Monrovia again. This is FOL Midweek Special. My name is Dennis Jai, and we are broadcasting from Atlanta, Georgia. It's a week's phone. We have some um, connection issue there. And so as soon as that clears up, he's going to be rejoining us. And we are discussing Lena. We started discussing Lena. That's the Labrote News Agency. We take a short break and we we'll At Focus on Liberia, we discuss everything Liberia. From education to politics, arts and culture, entertainment, agriculture, history, religion, family, and technology. Focus on Liberia uncovers and showcases the best of Liberia and shows the world the truth about Liberia. We educate, elevate, and promote all things Liberia. We conduct interviews, panel discussions, debates, and more. Tune in to Focus on Liberia on Facebook and YouTube and be a part of the stories that make up the news. This is Focus on Liberia, and I am Dennis Jack. Welcome back to Focus on Liberia. We are in conversation with Mr. Kwame Opa Weeks. He's the Director General of LENA. Continue, Mr. Weeks. Yeah, and uh, and like like I like I was saying. So basically, we 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 are uh, uh, the central news collection agent of the state and the only media uh, institution in the republic with a national spread. And uh, you talk, we talk about all of those uh, reporters we have across the country. And now, uh, because of the constraint we're facing financially uh, and uh, our inability to maybe say we're going to get like three or four correspondents. We can take, for example, Lofa County for a for geographical space. You don't, you can't have one reporter covering the entire Lofa. So you talk about Kola Home of, of, of Fuya, uh, uh, of Vahun, all that side. So if you come to Vonjama, it's a whole different area. If you go down to uh, Kwadubuni, all of those areas, then you come to Zaza, one person cannot cover Lofa. Right. So if we were with a lot of money, you know, uh, and have all of those support, uh, we can have at least six to seven person, you know, covering Lofa yeah. County alone. Then you have Grand Gita, you know, all of these different uh, areas. But uh, so in one of these counties, when we took over, we now have at least 13 reporters in uh, uh, across uh, 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 14 counties. Yeah. That's not bad. Okay. When, and when, uh, when we were growing up in Liberia, uh, a lot of what we knew of Lena was this real, what you call a national spread, providing news right. from across the country. How do you, right. how do you uh, try to... Uh, be that news collection agency for the state instead of or how do you try to navigate being that a balanced news collection agency from across the country than being a mouthpiece of the government or especially the president how, how do you walk that line uh, first i will tell you uh, you I, I, you can hear me yes sir Okay, so so in 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 earnest, uh, 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 Lena actually started in in 1978. That that is ahead of the the 1979 uh, 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 OEU and uh, uh, summit. Then and uh, uh, you know before the before the before the conflict, uh, you know the agency suffered a major 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 setback. Uh, you, our facilities were destroyed. You know, and you have over 14 different years. Of, of of fighting and so you had that effect of mainstream journalism that that, that added itself and then you have the the social media aspect and then uh, you know we we decided to you know uh uh, uh, uh pluralize uh our different platform in telling uh, uh in telling the the liberian uh, uh uh story to the world so we do not most time like like try to delve into too much politics because your national if something happens it is reported that don't mean that we don't report what happened mm -hmm. but we don't take up time to say okay we're gonna go we're gonna go make up a story against dennis jai just to make government look good that's not the kind of journalism that uh that 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 that, that we we're, well we at lena here uh preach mr weeks there's a breaking news and you alluded to that earlier that uh we read that on e-mention website 
that Mr. Eugene Fagon, the Deputy Minister for Information, has been relieved of his post. Right. What happened? Um, according to what we are hearing, is just uh, uh, some according to the communicate out of e mansion, and it is there that uh, some info, some misinformation uh, about COVID. Uh, although I cannot independently verify uh, uh, what actually was said, but that's that's how as as far as I can go. And uh, don't mind you, uh, we all of us, including myself. Uh, do operate and work at the will and pleasure of the, you know, uh, uh, of the head of state, uh, the president of the Republic of Liberia, who is uh, Dr. George Manawea. So he can get up. We don't have to necessarily, you know, do something. Uh, uh, it's at the will and pleasure. So mm -hmm. uh, if his will is not to keep Kwame Wicks in that seat, uh, I can get relieved. That don't mean that I'm not on the team. Right. And when he say he says something about COVID, do you know exactly what he said? What was the first news that he propagated? No, uh, that as far I can go according to the communique coming out of the uh, the, uh, the, the the mansion. You you also you work. Uh, the uh, Lena is under the Ministry of Information, where Mr. Fagon is the uh, Deputy Minister. Is that uh, if you are you looking forward to being appointed as a uh, to replace Mr. Fagon? Um, I mean, that's not a good thing uh, I will say or want to do uh, because Minister Fagon is a very, very close friend of mine. Uh, I still believe that uh, he's a great, great, great gentleman and uh, that, uh, uh, you know, we all serve the president and it is mm -hmm. up to the president to decide or, or at what time you know you think that uh, somebody else can come on board or uh, uh, uh he wants to flip us around or whatever yeah. so but uh, uh uh thinking now to come out here and say if if hypothetically yeah. i was appointed to Bagon's position if uh and that's not something that uh you know i think will ever happen uh because we we're both deputy minister by ranking mm -hmm. we we make the same uh, uh salary so i'll see no reason why uh, uh you know uh i will want to pray for something like that not yeah. especially in this in this manner right and uh let me let me put that uh, statement from the e mention website on the screen since this is a breaking news it reads uh, President, we are relieved, Deputy Information Minister Eugene Fagon, and that was today. The President of the Republic of Liberia has relieved with immediate effect Deputy Information Minister for Press and Public Affairs at the Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism, Eugene Fagon, right. of his post. Mr. Fagon's removal has a result of spreading false information regarding the government response to the COVID-19 pandemic currently ravaging the country. The president has warned that he will not hesitate to take similar actions against any other official of government engaged in activities that undermine established government policy. Strong words from the president, and we don't, we're not sure exactly what Mr. Fagon said. Is this, in your view, is this out of character, uh, of the president or this is something that he would normally do when people are out of line this is not only unique to to the to the president of the republic of liberia you know mind you this president is one who is very very patient right. uh, and uh, he he watches a lot i mean right. no. some of you yeah I've watched some of your shows here for decades of like uh, i'm just using that word for lack of a better word that uh you call it oh uh, Fagon said this, get him out. This person said that, get him out. The president don't move because yeah. people, he's very calm and collective. And, and uh, that's why Mr. And, Mr. Weeks not cutting you. That's why we're shocked because the president does not normally fire people. I don't know what, what really Fagon did that got on his, uh, that, that, um, that rubbed him differently about this false information because that's why I was asking if this is out of character of the uh, president we are. Oh, sorry, we did not, the connection there is in trouble. Why? Well, let's uh, read a few comments here from our uh, viewers while we wait for Mr. Weeks to get reconnected. 
Sulu Jalo say, good evening. Zanga Davis said, Lena is pro-government media. All right, let's see again. Mr. Wiggs, are you there? Mr. Wiggs? Oh, we lost him again. Zanga said, Lena is only for President Weah. Say the truth. Mr. Mr. Wiggs, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry about the bad connection. Yeah. No, I was asking, I was asking this, you know, appears out of character because the president does not only fire people. Do you know if Fagon was maybe warned before or if these things, was he, uh, as we say in the classroom, was he on red? Yeah, go ahead. No, I said, do you know if Mr. Fagon was warned previously? Um, because this president does not easily I fire people. I I can't go into the mind of the of the of the president. Uh, mm -hmm. That is not something you know. I'm not a, a, a an expert for that. Uh, I'm just following for for the the news we're getting that a friend and brother you know was relieved of his post. Uh, All right, we're still having some issue here. Steve Wilson said, Mr. Weeks would not know anything about the firing of Mr. Fagon, but we, the public, know. Let's stick with what vision. Yeah. No, I, I'm not talking about what Trump drove the president. All I was asking whether uh, there was any time that Mr. Fire or Mr. Fagon was served a warning, and this became the last straw that broke the camel's back. That's what I was trying to get to. I know. I'm saying. I'm saying. For now, you know, I, I can't go into the mind of the VIP. The Constitution is clear and right that we serve at the will and pleasure. So the president gets up in the morning and says, "Dennis Jai, you're no more director of LBS. Uh, how are we going to go and and try to, you know, decipher what 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 you know could have, should have, or you know must have happened? But the communication comes from out of the mat, coming out of the 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 the, the, the mansion says that. Uh, misinformation about COVID. So we, we keep it at that. Thank you. We, we watched your program, the uh, Lena Panorama. And uh, we in this age of social media, those kind of programs are, are very necessary. What, what's the purpose of this program? And uh, what's the feedback you're getting from the viewers thus far? We're getting uh, a lot of viewers and I can uh, uh, boast here that uh, uh, um, I know there used to be this girl by the name of Faith Wilson. Uh, she she was well, one of the only person uh, Liberian that have ever garnered up to a million or two million or three million views per video, and uh, and, and that was then. And now I I can boast and say the Liberian news agency since we launched the Lena Panorama and taking our camera when. Uh, uh, um, you know, human interest stories, uh, you know, sometimes in a week we reach up to four, five million persons and uh, some some of our video go as far as two million, you know, uh, of views. And that's something we are very, very proud of. We've saved lives. We have, uh, 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 we have sent over seven persons. Our camera has taken over seven Liberian children to the United States of America. Elijah is currently in Staten Island at the Staten Island University Hospital almost a year, was suffering from this uh, stage four bucket lymphoma cancer and uh, saved his life. We, we have Diana at the ELWA. Uh, we have this uh, little girl who's uh, just got her visa. She will be picking up her passport. She and another little girl who had this stoma surgery, and they will be they'll be leaving for the U.S. in a couple of weeks. Spinal bifida. All of these different uh, uh, situations uh, that our camera have been taking. Today we did a case on uh, on incest, uh, where a 16 year old was was religiously abused and raped by her own her own dad. And uh, uh, thanks to this government. Uh, that monster was uh, picked up and he's now uh, going to spend the rest of his life uh, behind bars at the South Beach. Uh, these are things that uh, uh, we're, com we're concerned about. That's why we launched that arm of, mm. of, 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 
you know, uh, news uh, called uh, Elena Panorama. Yes, I watched that video while preparing for this interview. What are you trying to accomplish with uh, Lena Panorama? And why is it that you are the one doing it, the director general, and maybe not your reporters? My reporters are behind me uh, because I launched the, the, the series and uh, I wrote the entire series. So they are behind me. You can see Ibrahim has now started to step in my footsteps, you know, and this something has to do with the country. So we have to put our best out there. And because I launched the series, this is the first of its kind. I couldn't just take a camera and put it in an amateur hand to that particular. So basically, I was, I'm training them. I got Ibrahim uh, 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 Sharif. Uh, he's He's the next guy to take over, Justin Clark, a very good uh, journalist, a uh, 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 mass communication expert. He's next in line. Uh, and mind you, you have great, great, great uh, writers at the agency. But when it comes to, you know, using the camera, asking the kind of questions, uh, getting it, you, they have to be on the spot to know what's happening. And gradually they will grow and then we can turn the, turn the baton over. It's more like a relay. Okay. So again, what are you trying to accomplish with this program and uh, how is that uh, being realized so far? Uh, we, we have accomplished that. We're saving lives already. We're changing lives. We have so many uh, Liberians in the diaspora who uh, who like, okay, we have uh, the COVID season. I got Liberians now telling me to go to Nobel, pick up some rice and go and drop it to orphanages who will not be able to come out there because we gotta be, we gotta stay safe. Now, you know, in the United States where you are, when a country is on attack, be it say a scorch or a war and all of that, uh, you don't have Republican or Democrats. They all put their arms together and then and, and start to, you know, fight whatever that is attacking their country. After that, then they, everybody take the position and start to, you know, be CPP and be all of that. And that's why that's why this president is 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 always on his on his knees every night to make sure that uh, you know this country works for the common man. That's why the the agenda is is pro pol. Mr. Wish, how do you know the president is on his knees every night? His knee, he's on his knees uh, when we just signed 157 million United States dollars. We already secured Tapita Zuedru. Ganta Tapita is now being uh, uh, constructed. Uh, uh, I just talked to the Deputy Minister Todd at the Public Work Ministry. Uh, you see a lot of these things are happening. Uh, there's fund already secured for, for the Ravelsfield uh, uh, ELWA. I mean, a lot, of, a lot is happening. You got the, you got the, the Chinese already sealed the deal for, 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 for this overpass from, uh, from uh, 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 SKD Boulevard all the way to, to 540. There's a lot happening for, for our country. They have, they have already sent experts into the country who are trying to work on uh, a linking Cinco with that of uh, the Somalia drive and. Uh, Electricity will be a thing of the past in the next coming, the Millennium Challenge that has been taken care of uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, you will see uh, 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 the final deal. We had the Guineans here. You, I know you grew up, uh, uh, you and myself, they were talking about the Mafugi plan that has already come into fruition. You had the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Guinea, uh, the engineers, the, the, the mines department ministers, they just close up a visit a week ago and they left a high power delegation you saw the french foreign minister jean yves uh, he was here recently uh Le Drian, he was here recently and met our president where well, it's a lot happening for the country thank, thank, thank you let, let me go back to your lena panorama i follow it you know i like it and so but there is a there is a concern that some of your interviews sometimes appear a little condescending to the people and uh one of the once uh when you interview a, a teacher and you try to uh it, 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 some of the reaction i got uh, people didn't like it that uh, you were trying to make him in like what we say look small do, do you get those kind of feedback that uh, you need to sometime of course, uh, of course. and that's the beauty of social media you cannot stifle people's view and and how they feel also under there there are a lot of folks who were saying look at the kind of teachers we have uh, we have in our country and this tells you we're from war then it's mm -hmm. one thing we should know 
we're for we're for right. war and if we cannot use this particular tool or this technology we have that they call social media if we can't use it for the positive aspect like like Sierra Leoneans are using like the Ghanaians are using and only time we use this this particular platform is to bring one another down right. if i'm not dragging like dennis if we were if I, if, we, if i was on this platform now cussing man doing this our numbers will be in the thousands watching you mm -hmm. know look at your platform for example it will be in the thousands so we, we we're trying to change that narrative so that's right. why you see when we when we do the panorama series we have even people that i i have different views who are not seditions who do not support don't even want to see president where they sent money to us right to yeah what i was people. getting at like that teacher is like you, you try to shame him that's what that was the no. criticism uh, uh, no, because we, we, we don't want to, in most cases when it comes to, ed, and it's not only in the education field, uh, Dennis, like uh, you, we, we, there are certain places where you have square bags and round holes, and the president or government can't be there. You saw the time this man said he started teaching in that place. You understand? There are so many teachers who are like that, and it's, there's no disrespect to, to the guy, but... We were all men, and I was just trying to lead him and ask him these questions. And as a teacher, if he, like he's saying, I think he should be able to hold his own. Right. You're asking me a question, for example, now, because you want me, you want your show to be okay, and maybe you want me to say something that uh, will, 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 will make people think, oh, no, that guy, he doesn't deserve what he's saying or whatsoever. And that's not your goal, but you have to ask those tough questions. What's, what's up with you and this photosynthesis question? Were you a science teacher or something? Uh, I just like it because it's something uh, I asked this. You saw that little kid I asked uh, uh, on my way to, to uh, with the president. Yeah, and he won. Uh, he, I gave him, I think, 10 or 20 bucks. So uh, this is just the faster, the faster uh, 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 question you can <laughs> ask uh, with science. And growing up, I just thought to ask that. Let's look. You talk about the uh, the national the uh, nationwide tour. I saw you with the president, and sometimes you know you being with the president during the nationwide tour made you look like someone like a press secretary. That's why I was concerned how you really delineate these roles, <laughs> the press secretary well, information. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on? You 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 too close. You're supposed to be serving all of us. It looked like you 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 were with the president just like the press secretary. Uh, no, I mean, I don't see it like that because the press secretary is always there. So, uh, the deputy is always on the field. As a matter of fact, he, they, they uh, sometimes give us uh, uh, instruction when it comes to, you know, how to handle the media around the VIP. Uh, uh, and so we take those orders uh, 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 when, when they are handed down from the, the uh, 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 EPS guys to the press secretary and then on to us. You know, and we have that, that kind of a mutual and respectful uh, work ethics between uh, both, both uh, areas. So as a matter of fact, they are the first uh, person in line for anything that is declassified to be uh, sent out to us for public consumption. So once that information gets to us, we send it out there. And we're trying to make sure and take advantage of this particular device uh, or the particular platform they call social media to get the president message out there as possible. So if E. Manchon has another camera, uh, Lena has a camera, uh, 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 Public Affairs has another camera, ELBC camera. I mean, it's not, no one tells your story better than you yourself, that is. Right. And, and um, since you since you promote, you know, the state, do you sometimes also uh, get around with the opposition parties and promote whatever they're doing, or is just the government? Uh, we've tried that before, and uh, we've, 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 we've reached out to Delon to do an interview, and he just thought that he said, according to him, we have all the audio and all of that, and all of the, the, the reply that uh, I will never, ever uh, I allow you guys to interview us. We said, okay, we've tried on so many occasions, but sometimes when they do interviews, and I report, we have reporter in every government uh, sector here in Monrovia. So once they're there and they're speaking, we pick it up and, and, and get it out. Recently, about the 15K uh, saga, you know, we we, we, we we got that on on the honorable man, uh, 
Koluba, we've, we've, we've interviewed uh, uh, our Honorable uh, Yure, we've interviewed, uh, what is his name, uh, the late uh, uh, Bronskin, we've interviewed, uh, 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 what is his name, Cummings also. Okay. So uh, there was an event, uh, I think they had some luncheon event by the opposition, we were there. So we try all the time, and, but uh, every time we come out, they, they think we're coming there to, you know, uh, 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 write something that does not look good for them. And that's yeah. not our goal. And we'll come more to that. And I want to really ask you a question about citizen journalism, especially, and uh, right. journalism in this age of social media. But let's deal with the president's, president's tour. Uh, right. The president, you have the PAPD, and uh, the president had a nationwide tour. I did not see the president pushing his PAPD agenda, explaining it to the people. That uh, yeah, pro yeah. the promotion of that agenda was completely absent, and he was complaining about, you know, is uh, in River G, complaining about where is uh, the state house. Yeah. Uh, that's a uh, attraction that the people will pick up. But if you see the president's, uh, the president's entire trip were well choreographed. Yeah. Uh, he had once he had one set of speech delivered to every county and then he will go off script and when every time he goes off script is when he will complain about certain things that he see that oh yeah you're here in river g how come this thing is the way that way but if you followed everything you will find out that every speech the president delivered the same speech he starts off first he never opened his speech without asking for a moment of silence for all of those people who died from covid uh and then he will close up after that. And next thing he always says in his uh, in his speech that uh, it is not about, you know, we ask time what what somebody didn't do. It is what all of us can do to move our county forward. He always said one thing in his speech to every county that your, your sons and daughters who you have selected as lawmakers, please make sure that uh, when they get back to Moravia, you say you want what? You want bridge, you want hospital. There are things that I can do personally from my own paycheck, but there are other things that I cannot do that requires government from, from government's coffer. So tell your sons and daughters, they make the budget, they approve whatsoever. Anything they put in there, when they bring it to me, I will sign it. So uh, what you're saying is, uh, I just think uh, you were only picking up what you want to pick up. No, not true. I, I followed the president, not in every county, but I really did not see what I thought that this was his first time. And so he will promote his PAPD so the people get to understand where he wants to take the nation. But I, I, I heard him complaining about things. And you said because he was off script. Do, do you think no, the president should be scripted a little more? Look, president is a human being. They get frustrated. Oh, that is, can you imagine a president driving in this kind of or, or treacherous uh, or, 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 or situation, sometimes scorching heat, you know, under these conditions, and this man was able to tour every county and not just go in. We went to San Sino, for example. We went to uh, 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 another district that got cut off from the rest of the, I mean, you see, tens of towns. And they said from that, once you cross that bridge, you're directly into, into uh, Grand Cru from 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 the sino side and they call it the peace bridge and he would he went there to 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 to, to get that bridge I, I even sh uh, shot a video there where you saw me on the raft and the president would come here i had to jump quick off the raft and come out so this president is this one that it is not he, do he doesn't go around you know picking fights or trying to go out there because you see the the uh, uh what is name the, the director of cabinet was sent out this uh, uh, information telling uh, people announcements that respect the people culture. You can't do this. You can't do that. So there is no way he's going out there to, you know, say taunting people, looking for quarrels and all of that. It was a successful, successful, successful county tour. You saw what happened in Lofa after all the naysayers, people who said, oh, no, the road was not go on a librarian news agency page and watch the panorama series chico now the road from from banga all the way to lofa in the next couple of months you're going to see five kilometers uh, pay from banga into lofa then another month you're going to see five kilometers like that like that you know i mean so all over the country so he's 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 working and and it is just we're just lack of uh, uh the amount enough platform that will be able to put this message out but i don't think that's what the president was out there for. 
on, on still on the tour there was this group welcoming the president and some of the uh students that were welcoming you you were there with your camera as young as three years old they were singing something like you know if i turn 18 i will vote for opon and people who watch that look like we were, we were in uh, north korea <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, but the, 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 this was not this was not staged. I know you think we were in Pyongyang or somewhere, but it was not staged. It was natural. So, and that's. A, a, but, but, that's but Mr. Weiss, why would the teachers teach the kids that song? Why, why would they make them no, sing it? it? Not, no, it was not the teachers teaching them. They just they just decided to sing. I had no. I can I can independently come out here and say that's what the teacher taught them. We only stopped because we heard the song. We stopped and we heard a song and I thought it was a good footage for for for, for TV. And so I, I pulled my camera out and started to film it. Right. And you you yourself you even doubted because some of the kids were as young as three years old. And right. Right. And were you not uh, or repudiate that kind of behavior that hey, you have to train this? Why why that's, can't that's too harsh. That's too harsh. Repudiate uh, repudiate uh, 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 pupils who are singing that if they're talking about hypotheticals, mm -hmm. they love their president. When is when has choice become a problem in our country? No, I wanted children to aspire for better things, right? You know, I, I wanted I wanted to hear when I turn eighteen, I want to be an astronaut. I, I want to go to the University of Liberia instead of saying when I turn eighteen, I'm going to vote for the president. And it looked like of course, adults. I thought I kind of, you know, training these children to say that's why I made a uh, North Korea we comparison. Can always, we can... Children, let them make their wishes. If they will come true, fine. You say, oh, if I turn 18. So they're not going to turn 18 now, but we just allow them to, to have fun. I mean, this is something that we let them have fun. Let the children play. That's all I can say to that. You, you, you call that play? They get, they're engaging yeah. in politics, right? No, I mean, uh, everything, politics is everywhere. It's in the church, it's in the schools, it's in the hospitals, it's everywhere. It depends on your definition of what politics is. Okay. But uh, 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 it's everywhere. It's everywhere right. you can find politics. Right. Ooh, I'm just saying, let the kids be kids. Uh, so let the kids be kids instead of getting them to uh, think about voting. Yeah, but uh, it's not not all not 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 wanting not wanting to vote. Uh, so imagine you and myself know if a three year old saying if I turn eighteen I will vote. So you talk about fifteen years, right? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. So you're talking about fifteen years. So even if you give this president a second term, which of course he's gonna have, you're not gonna you're not you're not gonna let nine years after nine years. You you're not going to allow that happen. So it's impossible for them to even vote. So we we just you know uh, let you know let that like water on a duck's back. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, this is focus on Liberia. We are speaking with. The Director General of the Labrador News Agency, Mr. Kwame Opa Weeks, talking about his agency and journalism. Let's come to the idea of journalism, right? Before, when you and I were growing up, you could only hear these things on ELBC, ELWA, ELTV, and so on and so forth. Right now, there is citizen journalism. Almost every citizen with a cell phone is a journalist in Liberia. How is that, you know? How is that working out for Liberians and uh, for the job that you are doing? Is it enhancing your work or is that in the way? It is never in the way. Citizen journalism has been has been around for 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 for, for decades, you know. So it it it, it, it cannot uh, it cannot hinder our work because that there, there are some places that my you uh, uh, it is also known as collaborative media. And the only thing is we, most time in Liberia, most of the things we take it to use it in a negative way. So say Dennis Jai is not a journalist, he's nothing. So he's somewhere, he's watching something that is destroying the state. Maybe some police officer is taking bribes. Bribe. You saw what citizen journalism did into the situation with, uh, with, uh, 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 what the latest uh, case we have in the states from Minnesota? Floyd. Floyd. Right. 
and where the guys or the or white dude had his his knee on his neck. Yeah. That, you trying to tell me that that citizen journalism was not positive. That person is not an unsung hero. That person shouldn't win an award. Definitely. But the only thing is right. The only thing we do uh, with our form of citizen journalism is always to wait and gotcha. you. So, okay, I wait and wait and wait and keep waiting until Dennis Jab makes a mistake, which of course he's a human, and then I film it and then put it out and make mockery of him. That's not, uh, uh, I don't think that's what uh, citizen uh, 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 is for. It is mainly for playing an active role in the process of, uh, you know, collecting and reporting, uh, 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 analyzing, and also disseminating news information. That's the whole idea of right. citizen journalism. So if you if you drift uh, anything outside that framework, if you go out there, my man, you are outside. You become a government boom. You, that means you just want to you just want to you know mischaracterize people or say anything derogatory to them. But the whole idea of citizen journalism was meant. There are lots lot of advantages that right. comes away. Yeah, it, uh, it's, it's, are there it's, are there it's, positive it's, are there positive stories? of citizen journalism in Liberia, like we saw yeah. in the case of George Floyd. Yeah, yeah, it provides a whole different viewpoint. Citizen journalism provides a whole different viewpoint. So say, we're talking, say, okay, we're talking about rules. Citizen journalism will come and say, okay, maybe yes, we are government's bill of rules, but uh, maybe we want the rules to be longer. We want them to be wider. We want it to be deeper. We want them to do this. So it always gives some, that is it. It has a lot of positive uh, 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 benefits, and you know, and it assists also. One of the main benefits of citizen journalism is to assist qualified journalists. Right. So, if you have some information that is corroborative, and uh, you can, uh, if you pick it up, say you're in Nuclear Town and I'm in VOA, you can always send it to me, and then we can work it together, and you can give me any other details that will lead to some investigation that could crack up something. So there's a lot, there's a lot, and uh, easy access to also uh, uh, current events. Right. So, so in yeah. the case, in the case of uh, we have the six auditors who died right what do you think and uh and then we have the uh the ones the the, the uh, missing boys in the mines and we have we have we have had some terrible situation in the country do you think citizen journalism could have helped you know in bringing throwing some light to these kind of issues that are still unclear we still don't know exactly what went down uh, i mean People, people are saying they don't want to know, but the, the forensic uh, reports are there. We had our own Liberian pathologist uh, who came, uh, you know, it's, it's the same situation of the 16 billion hoax. That they say, okay, no, we want white people to come. We want the experts, we want this. So you bring the white people again, then the goalposts get moved. You know, and this is what, it has always been uh, in Liberia about when, We've struggled a lot, and I hate to talk about this kind of politics about our country mm -hmm. because I, 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 I told myself never to talk anything negative about anybody, even President or, or, or where you have the opposition. Mind you, an opposition is always a government in waiting. How you wait is very important, uh, 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 Dennis. Yeah. But if you're waiting to bring the other man down, because whatever happens, you are a government 100 percent in waiting as an opposition. So you, it might not be you. It might be another opposition. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So that's sure. what look at CDC, for example. It was a government in waiting. Look at Kofu. Who, look, look at Ghana, for example. Look at Babo when he was teacher. People were like, in your dreams. You can never look at Guattara. Babo told him, in your dream. Look at President Weah, in your dream. Uh, Ellen Johnson said he told, him in, told her, in your dream. So opposition, we should learn. That's what we went to school for. Right. We shouldn't sweep. At uh, a certain time, we sweep our knowledge under the carpet just to suit uh, a particular condition. I would be very, very naive to sit out here and say, uh, Comics cannot be president of Liberia, Braca cannot be president of Liberia, Euro cannot. It's not my place. Only God knows how long they're going to lay for. But I can come out and say, We are 10, we're finished. He will eat his second year. If whoever will take it can take it. That'll be an honest debate. That's something I'll be willing to discuss. But because I just want to say close or have a blind eye, then uh, 
you don't have constructive opposition uh, 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 and every time they only see negatives of the government and all of that, and, take, a, take a look at what's happening in the country yes. at the moment. Yeah. And I will come to that opposition issue, but let me ask you this one, because one of the big issues uh, coming up now is about war crimes court in Liberia. And we saw, we witnessed a, a house hearing on that very topic. How is that topic playing out in Liberia and how is uh, Lena reporting on that story? Uh, well, you, uh, you said we should well, come again. Uh, war crimes come court. There was a hearing on war crimes court in, in the House of Representatives in the U.S., right? I think you heard that story. The sub, subcommittee. Yeah, a sub, are you trying to downplay that when you say subcommittee? Oh, yeah. You, I'm not, what do you mean downplay? It's a <laughs> subcommittee. Well, let's say it as journalists. That's our role. We're not here to sugarcoat or add or subtract. Right. I mean, I was saying it's in the house. Okay. How is that story playing out in Liberia? And uh, inform, inform your inform your audience that there was a subcommittee. Yeah, I mean, that's true, subcommittee, but I don't see the nuance there, what difference is going to make. But my question here so is... the difference, because they, they, they deliberate, and then they send it out there, and then yeah. if the general body will have to come, then before they start to think and set up a day, call witnesses from the other side, you must then know the United States of America. Yeah. They're not going to look at a coin from one side. No, 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 I get that. I, my, the broader question is on, is on war crimes court. What's, saying, what's, your, gonna, what's your take? Oh, my, my take, uh, Dennis, I lost three brothers yeah. in this war. I lost George, uh, let me sorry, God forbid. I lost Tunnel Weeks. I lost, I lost Finney Weeks. I, I, I mean, three brothers that were dismembered. I know who did it. They are right here in this town. I see them. I pass. But mind you, the situation with Liberian on war crimes code. If that happens in this country, this country will come down because there are a lot of people. There are a lot of stories. You must have know our war. That's why the, uh, look at New York Times. Uh, this guy just put an op-ed, an, an opinion uh, uh, editorial piece that just got released uh, day before yesterday. I will send you that link. If you read that, yeah. you know. I read that. It, 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 I read it, that right, opinion. You read that. Right. And this is a white man's opinion of what's happening, how he sees Africa and what's happening. He even mentioned Liberia. Yeah. He, that's an honest, honest, honest M account. Mr. Mr. Wee, what, what do you mean when you say that's a white man's opinion? When I say that's a white man because, because we now we believe you hear our reporters who are crying for this. When they talk, they say, this is the United States, so this is the white man. They're not joking, they're not this, this, that. So that's, I'm trying to use their own line for them. So they don't believe the white man on the other side, let them be able to believe him on this side. Right, but there are other I'm white men to. who are saying the opposite. So what does that tell you? Right, I'm, just, I'm trying to tell you that this is somebody who is for, from a reputable paper, uh, New York Times would not just write anything. And you no, they, they write any them. opinion. If you have an opinion, you 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 share it. It doesn't mean it's right. Not, not just take it, my man. You must have no. No, they, no, they but they they, they cannot validate that. From they, anybody who just who just say they have opinion to send. Right. No, what I mean is, it doesn't have to be. You just have an opinion. Just if you are able to support what you are writing, you can publish it. Right. It doesn't and have to be fact. The, the fact that they are saying that they have to tell the true story. One, this is the president who they're saying that he's not for war crimes code, which is a lie. Which is a lie. So whatever time the war crimes code will come, whatever date or, 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 or minute is going to come, all of us are prepared for it. Right. That is, no, but why is it? Why is the president? For all of us. Yeah. But the president, right. the president was quoted okay, saying, "Let me go out that line and say the president don't want it." Like you must know, the president never touched a fly in this town. He lost a lot, and, and that's and that's why it is uh, mind boggling. It is mind boggling. We know who all the players are right. So that's why it's mind boggling, Mr. Weeks. Why he's having a cold feet towards this because, whole idea? Because the the the, 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 the other side. This is the kind of this is that the kind of conversation that I told you that I don't want to hold because. Yeah. I know it is all politics. They're trying to do this because who else they want to get? Prince Johnson, because he's the kingmaker. 
So let's get him. We you know we go we go after the stronger guy. We've seen this movie before. We know how it's going to end. You know, we get the stronger guy, then we weaken the whole team. Why? But they didn't get Prince Johnson first the past twelve year when he was kingmaker for Madame Salif twice. They didn't get him. He was a, he was the oh he was like Jesus Christ for God's sake. Mr. Mr. So Mr. Weeks, I, I I don't get the I don't get the logic. So you're saying okay. This is our time to benefit from Prince Johnson, so let war crime code no, no, wait. No. That statement is for those who are calling for it so 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 thirstily now. They're so right. For no, it. but President, we are in the CDC have been thirsty, but uh, this is the kind of political football with the war crimes code that you and I should be speaking against, right? That as long as it benefits you or doesn't benefit you, you should be lukewarm. The president was quoted. And, and, and you should be you should be speaking about it, not me. Why? Why not? Um, because uh, uh, because it's a choice. I lost three persons in the in the war. Yeah, that are very close to me. Minus cousins, other people who were who were killed. But I mean, very very, who were to my heart were taking care of everything. I went through. I I, I don't want to relive my moment yeah. with the war. Everybody I'm sorry knows. to hear that. Right, but if I tell you my story, we will be coming up in my memoir anytime from now. You're gonna be like, wow. So we all wait. If 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 the war crimes could come, fine. Because it's gonna be more like a dragnet, and there's a lot of people gonna be into it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying, mm -hmm. set the pace for our country security wise, so that when it comes, you know, our country will be in one piece. But don't try to tear the country down. This is a model that United Nations try and it worked. If Vienna didn't work. Many places, uh, Sarajevo, uh, 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 Libya, all of these places don't work. Liberia but, is working. And you want to tear it apart? Go ahead. But how does that? How does a war crime court tear it apart, uh, Mr. Weeks? Because our our situation is not just Dennis Jai we are looking for. There's so many tribes. There's so many people. The town will be empty. It's going to be like a pipe piper playing a tune and then sweeping this town out. That's what's going to happen. So, so, what, so, so why can they, uh, can, why not, uh, we do the little things that were recommended by the TRC that, uh, that can be oh, achieved. Can bring it on, bring it on, but bring it on honestly. Come mm -hmm. on, let's, let's talk about it. All right. Come Thursday and we'll talk about the TRC and the war crimes court, but let me, oh, let, sure. yeah. And I, and I like that. Thursday, I like the Thursday fire for fire. Yeah, come on, come on Thursday, and then we're going to have tough talking. Here, we wanted, <laughs> yeah. So, so, so now because the president himself was quoted saying, "Hey, the perpetrators want war crimes court, the victims want war crime court, but I don't want it, so I pass the buck to the legislature." I, I thought no, that's. That, you're misquoting the president. I'm paraphrasing. I have the video here. Yeah, but so play it. I have the video, Mister. You have to so play it. You have to give the president his day in court, and you have to play everything for beta. Right. Your let, platform, let, let me, not, let, let your me. platform is not Spoon TV, my man. Your platform is a very, very honest and direct platform. Let me play. Let me. Let, let me play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Mr. President, Diamond Slanger for Spoon FM. Yeah. Um, the speech caused a, a lot of uproar in Liberia, especially with the portion that had to do with the war crimes court where you made Liberia's case. What should Liberians expect from that particular portion? But of the I, I, it's all, I just I just stated, I don't understand what you want. Since we came to power, I have not one day called for war crimes court. You, the journalist, call for war crimes court. Liberians are calling for a war crime code. Both the victims and the perpetrators are calling for a war crime code. What I did is to explain to them why not. So if you don't understand my English, then you need to go back to the speech and then you read it well. Yes, yes, yes. You calling for a war crime code. I say now, why this time? Thank you. When we have an economic issue, we're trying to develop our country, why focus on the war crime code now? Why you did, you did not focus on it? 12 years ago. Yes. And those people that were part of the entire process of what happened to us, they left the 12 years. Yes. So what now? Is that what you want? Okay, then we'll send it to the legislature. And then so librarian can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
you heard you heard that from the president the perpetrators the wanted president, like what the president is saying those people who created the situation that lead to that led to the war and the crimes and the economic crimes they took power 12 years ago you heard the president right he said liberia called for it the victims called for it perpetrators called for it i didn't call for it I think, uh, and the president said, so he said, okay, since it's the majority, so we take it to the house. So the president that's is that's saying, what, that's what I, good leaders, that's what honest leaders will do. No, the they honest, no, 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 Mr. Weeks, no, Mr. Weeks, this honest leader is passing the buck. He's saying the perpetrators wanted, librarians wanted, and I, who's supposed to represent the interests of the librarian people, because oh, I don't want anything to do with it, so I'm passing the buck. Bad nothing don't subtract no i'm say, not i didn't call for it i didn't call for it the liberian people call for it perpetrators want it victims want it right and he so represented the liberian why? people why now why now when we're fighting to 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 to, to get ourselves out of this uh this uh bottomless pit when we're trying to fight and get up why right. you want it now the, the so, people who brought this thing that you're asking for now led 12 years ago was he wrong or is he wrong? No, he's wrong. But let me ask you this. Did okay. the president ever call did the president ever call for war crime court? Or do you believe he never called for it? You say what? Did George Weir has a person ever call for war crime court? You heard what the president said. No, before he became he president, say? did he not call for war crimes court? What did the president say in his verbatim remarks? He said he never he called said, for it, and that is not true. Okay, so you take the president's word for, for the president. Why are you asking me? And you heard what the president no, said. No, I'm saying because, because you follow these things. So I'm asking you because the president is on record calling for war crimes court. Now he said he never did. So play the play, play where, no. he, where he called for no, it. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't have a clip. I don't have the clip. But I can say, but I can you, say, you, you cannot misquote. You have to always come out with a verbatim account. No, I, I'm, I'm asking, you, I'm you, asking you to, Dennis, yeah. Before even social media came about, right? During the list, sir, you were one person, or still is, uh, are uh, one person that is highly respected because of your intelligence, your IQ, and all of that. But journalism has canons and tenets. We're not going to go beyond those. So if, the, if if you want to cut somebody, cut them verbatim. No, no, Mr. Do Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks, I was not quoting. I'm saying I'm asking you if you believe okay. that the president never called for war crimes code at all, and you are saying we should listen to what he said here. But is the executive responsible to uh, to bring that? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying as an individual, whether you believe he never called for war crimes code at all. I believe what the president just said that he didn't call for it. Okay. His own words. I'm okay. quoting what he said. Right. And the and executive the executive would not implement it, but the executive can champion it if that's what the Labyrinth people want. And he was elected by the Labyrinth people. But he what? just told you that he's gonna champion it and send it to 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 the people who will make the this. Who are the people? The people are those in the house. Right. And and it's been what, two years now? Is the, is the president following up on this thing? Dennis, you have to follow. I think you not, you, you <laughs> have to follow and know what's, what's been happening in this town. Yeah, give, give, lay, I mean, lay it on me. What has the president because done in that the direction? President, the, president, the president has sent that to the, to the hill. It's been two years now. But it's up to them. What do you want the president to do? To go and whip their butts? No, lobby. Just like he lobby, just like the executive lobby for the removal of Kwabina Janet. Oh, come on. You're <laughs> no, I'm talking about the president always have that power to lobby. Oh, you think he should lobby, right? Why not? If he's if the Labrun people want it and the Labrun people selected him or elected him, why can't he lobby on their behalf? He asked a question and said, okay, if that's what you want, I'm going to send it there, which he did. He's washing his hands off it. That's how it looked like. Oh, so now uh, a man who lost everything and saying, okay, so now uh, 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 we, we're not Christians no more, right? What? What does that have to do with Christianity have to do with anything here? 
Ah, uh, but he's as a person saying that he's willing to forgive whatever somebody did to him. But because he's president, he's going to follow the law. He's going to he's going to send it to the people who are responsible and want to do whatever they want to do. But he he he's, he 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 does not have that authority. The executive, not the one who's going to call for the court. Right, but but they are implementing the law. Is not about forgiving someone or not forgiving. If it could rest with an individual, we won't implement laws. I lost my father, you know, from the war. I have forgiven uh, the person who did it, but it doesn't mean that I can stay in the way of justice. But that's for another topic. L let me read a few of our comments here, Mr. Weeks, and so you can respond. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, Watson says, Mr. Weeks is a nice guy, but he will not answer any question about the sick, about this, uh, about Minister Eugene Fagon. I don't know why he said that. He, he continued, uh, Mr. Weiss, can you tell the public what was the government done bad for the past three years or just we are led government? He said you should critique the government. Did the government go wrong anywhere? Who, who, who should critique the government? He said, Mr. Weiss, can you tell us what the government has done wrong for the past three years or did the government do everything right? How can he, uh, how can a human being do everything right? But the government is is following its manifesto. That I can say. Okay, darling, what we say? Opa is my guy. He's doing some good works in Liberia. And not everybody will say law, law, Mr. Weeks. Emmanuel Jackson say Weeks is giving out false information about the sanction. It's on government official and not the country. I don't know. We didn't talk about sanction here. Oh, I think he was talking about my interview, uh, uh, the, the series we had about the awareness uh, yesterday. Okay. They are asking if Eugene's uh, firing is facts or fiction. I think they are making joke about right. his uh, about his topic. And uh, he, he still said the topic, you know, I should go to the next topic. This is boring. <laughs> Aku Joseph, what did the children see so far? They want to vote for Judge... M or Judge we are all wanted to be like him. Talking about the children that were singing, he said, what did they see so far? And uh, my man, as soon as CIA is asking you, he said, Mr. Weeks, how do you know that President We are will have a second term? And why are you so sure? Because we were sure. I, 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 I was number two in propagating the message. I'm on the ground and I know I see the numbers and they all point to uh, 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 a massive, massive win come 2023. Victor Yuma from YouTube say, I can't understand this guy's position as Director General of Lena. He sounds more like private press secretary. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can do to that. I can just laugh. Prince Jalas say, are you saying you don't want war crimes court? Who is he referring to me or yeah, to you? He's referring to you. Oh, uh, for 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 now, if if we if if and hypothetically, if the house comes out and says, "Okay, war crimes court," who am I to say no? They make our laws because I have a I have somebody there representing me from Grand Gita, and yeah. uh, they. Right, they're gonna vote in whatever direction the thing is good for our country and our interests. Right, but uh Judge Bully, for instance, was a warlord. I don't know if he's from your district. Do you think he's gonna vote for a war crimes court? He's accused. No, I'm saying he's a he's a he was a warlord, and he was not accused of being a warlord. He was right. Yeah, but uh, he was accused of doing wrong thing there are so many warlords who have done uh who people would, who would say we're, we're fighting for 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 freedom of our people and so yeah. they have different arguments but yeah. uh, i'll stick with uh or so far uh uh what he's been accused of right and you were from grand Jira. do you believe that he was actually doing this in the interest of grand Jira, or do you think that he also committed atrocities I mean, his group. It is, not, it, is, it is not my place to to judge what I have no proof on. No, I'm not saying judge. I'm saying if you follow the story, do, do you know anything like that? That's what I'm saying. If I even say yes or no, I will have to, to, to give proof for my job and all of that. So it's something that I don't want to delve into. Okay. 
Uh, Ningo Kali say war crimes code is a distraction. The moment Prince Johnson dies, you will never hear of this anymore, especially from the current advocates. <laughs> oh Lord, that comment uh, is, it just make me crack up. Okay, Prince Sagwa say I should stop the misquote. Why are you advocating for it when Ellen was there? Opa, don't support wrong, man. You say when Ellen was there, you were advocating for it, but now you don't. Well, who, me? Maybe not you as a person, but you representing uh, uh, what the CDC was advocating for. Uh, okay, I thought he was talking about me as a person. Can you comment on why the CDC that used to advocate for war crimes code now is mute on it? That I can't comment. Uh, I would say, I don't know. I, I have never seen or read anything where they were calling or asking for it. So I will not comment on that before it comes to. Yeah. Uh, you can read something or show me a paper or some audio play. Then I know what kind of answer to give. But oh. for now, I just, I just yield. Yeah. Like our chairman, the now chairman of CDC, uh, Mr. Moba Molo, he actually made a career out of calling for war crimes code, if you remember. He was constantly being brutalized by the government forces under President Sirleaf for bringing attention to war crimes code. But things have changed. He's, uh, he's no longer in opposition, so war crimes code you know, is not needed now. But if, if, if even that happened, you just spoke, I think you just defended the uh, Chairman Molu that uh, you know, people now are playing political football. Right. You know? Yeah. So it's, if, it is, if it, it was source for the goods, it should also source for the gender. Exactly. If it were good for, if it were good for Dennis Jai 12 years ago, I think it should be good for Kwame the next 12 years. Right. And, and if 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 uh, Mr. Molu was calling for this, what do you think have changed? Is it because he's, he's, uh, he's no longer in opposition, so you have to... I mean, this is the political I, football I, people I are playing. I can't delve, can delve into hypotheticals, but I'm saying if it was good for if it was good for them 12 years ago, I think it should be good for us uh, uh, where we are up to what point. God say, okay, yeah, the power is going to leave your hand at X, Y, Z time. Because we can even have all the numbers and everything. We wait for authority to come from God. And that's uh, that's it. So, they tried to make this president look like he he, he passed through Bhutto with AK-47 to take power, no, I which think, is wrong. I think the president is making himself to look like that. Nah. Yeah, because, I mean, anyway. Let me, let me tell you this. The reason why you see they try to say, because this president will not get bogged down into innuendos, you know, these local talks and uh, responding to any of Tom, Dick, and Harris. So it's, it hurts them. You know, it hurts them. And uh, uh, the next three years, if you if you if you see what the report card will reflect, you're gonna be you're gonna look. Uh, you were juxtaposed the before and after uh, uh, from uh, uh, 20, 2018 to 2023. If you look back uh, from two thousand and five to twenty eighteen, you're gonna be like, man, let's 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 just give it to them. And I can promise you that. You see, the proof is in the pudding. Albert Chappé Pew said the establishment of the War Crimes Court was a campaign pledge of the CDC before coming to power, and Kwame is aware. Ask him when did I join the party? Can you just share with my viewers when you joined, if you don't mind? 2017. 2017. Uh, I didn't even know you were a CDC person until I saw you, you know, welcoming the, uh, the candidate from... And you were at the and back of the share, car. Yeah, let me share. Let me share this for you first. Uh, yeah. I tried to. I tried to join Liberty Party. They they said they, they felt I was not good. Uh, Dylan pushed me around. I then I then went to ANC. Cummings kept me in his lobby. The same thing they did to uh, Sam Jackson. He was saying they kept me in. They kept me in his lobbies for weeks. I will go there from six, uh, from eight in the morning. I'm waiting. I got twelve appointment, and then somebody will come in and out and out and out and out. And then uh, we're just sitting somewhere having a drink. And I told a friend, and he said, "Look, man, uh, boy, maybe that's God, but I think you need to reach out to the CDC and look where we are today." 
you, you're happy you made that choice. Right. Uh, let me read one more comment and then we, uh, Frank says, uh, Mr. Wick should just stick to the humanitarian aspect which he does, which he does best. Leave the government propaganda alone because it will come and bite you. I don't want to say where he said it will bite you. Right, I read that. <laughs> and John said he lost his respect for you. I lost my initial respect I had for you, Mr. Weeks, due to the in this interview, which confirmed you are a CDC person. But of course, I was. I was. I just when I do my work, I try to do it professionally and not mix it with uh, with politics. Mr. Mr. Weeks, a lot of things are happening in the country, right? And I want us to uh, close with this because, you know, look, yeah. looking looking at our government, the opposition, all these things, 2023 is coming. There is this uh, $30,000 for lawmakers and all the things going on. And uh, it seems to me that uh, a lot of people will always say, well, you know, the government is doing good things, but uh, nobody is really propagating what the government is doing. And uh, we always see this fight, opposition, you know, pro-government and all that. You follow the news. You've been, you've been in Lena now for some time now. This narrative of uh, a binary politics, government versus opposition, opposition government, people look at things just black and white these days. If you look at that, you being a, a journalist in Liberia and you see that things are just pro-government or anti-government, how is that hampering the development of the country? Uh, the good news is that this president uh, will not mind them. He takes it with a grain of salt and he, shred, uh, he shrugs it off his shoulder. And he's, uh, he's, it's not gonna, he's not gonna stop, he's stopping nothing. You know, the only thing is that uh, even you saw uh, 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 their own men would tell them, look, you want to anything you want to do, you have to do it uh, peacefully. And that's what the president continued to stress. Once there is peace, development will always go on. All that distraction didn't stop us signing a hundred and fifty seven million dollar contract to get, you know, uh, 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 Tapita Zuedru stretch uh, done. Mr. 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 Weeks, a lot of your references are to the president. You know, this imperial presidency, is there any other person working in the country besides the president? Um, I think you want to make it look like uh, we're, sing we're singing all hail the president hill. That's, that's, that's how it sounds to me. I could be wrong. <laughs> come on, Dennis, come on. <laughs> Every time I ask for what the country is, you, you make reference to the phenomenal job the president is doing. You have... Right, right. That's our work. That's what we're here for to tell the to tell the government story. Right, not the president's story. The government is Who more is than the, the president. Government? Who is the government? The government includes three branches. Right, but this the executive should be from what we know from our kindergarten time. You know, it should be the one that is leading the boat. How we doing? How we doing with this COVID thing? With uh, the uh, the minister of yeah. health appear. And she, she appeared to me more like a military person, you know, will sanction you, will close this place down. And she was not really talking about COVID, right? And what we need to do medically. How are we doing with this COVID thing? I think that's a, that, that's the disservice to, to our old mom. She was very calm, collective. And uh, you see, uh, you know, our country is challenged, Dennis, and uh, people, you cannot say you're preaching pro-poor and then you start to put some of these uh, harsh measures on the people. Yeah. Now, the government now is fighting. Look, you got to give it to Liberia and give it to this government yeah. and give it to Madame Salib during the Ebola yeah. uh, squash. Right. So this is not something that we can politicize. Right. Liberia was, you read Wall Street Journal, Liberia was among the top 10 countries on the planet COVID is not because you got one million ventilators in your hospital or you got the best Dr. Fauci's and all of that. We saw that in your own town there, people are dying like flies. It is not the case we hire with our first wave, our second wave. 
we yeah. blinked because of our hospitality. Liberia is so, one yeah. of the most so, so, hospitable so, countries. So, sorry, um, sorry, um, sorry Mr. Yeah. Mr. Weeks, to interrupt you, we're almost out of time. How, how is the okay. stimulus thing going with that COVID? Um, uh, with the COVID thing uh, now, uh, uh, I know Max will soon be uh, distributed to every uh, citizen. We got the the, the, the different uh, military groups, uh, paramilitary mm -hmm. group, police in the streets, respectfully t uh, checking to make sure people are wearing their masks. Uh, mm -hmm. we, 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 uh, uh, we have uh, humanitarians in the person of Jetty, and all of these guys giving out oxygen and, oh, and so yeah. forth. I was so happy today when I went to ELWA in the emergency place. I didn't see one patient sitting there the place were clear that was a good sign that uh you know things are getting getting okay but we're waiting for the information will come out of sparkle the special uh, special presidential uh uh, uh, uh advisory uh, uh committee on covid well uh, to see what what they come out there so once the, the professional put it out there then we can disseminate uh, uh that but what we're seeing outside now uh, uh looks good uh we see a lot of numbers out there going to get their fresh shots, which is something that is very, very good and healthy for the country. We were waiting to see what, uh, you know, you, in spite of all of this fighting that's going on, I was, uh, a lot of groups reach out to me uh, from the diaspora, uh, planning to send stuff so that we can go and distribute to orphanages and other people who will need these things so that they can stay home, you know, and uh, uh, all of these uh, people, uh, different, different uh, groups are doing doing their, their, their job uh, uh, patriotically, and, okay. and that's that's where we are. Thank you. Mr. Wish, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll ask for your closing comments. But tomorrow, we're going to have Tough Talking Thursday. And in that show, we are asking, where will the change come from? The WEA administration, the opposition CPP, the legislature, the judiciary, or the people? If you say one or the other, we ask you why or why not. That will be Tough Talking Thursday. And uh, you are invited. Also, on Friday, we're going to have Dr. Duba Chris Young. He's, he wrote the president concerning his vol voluntary his service to for COVID. And he said the president gave him a cold shoulder, no response. We're going to be talking to him tomorrow. But let's take this uh, short break. And when we come back, Mr. Weeks, I want to close and come. At Focus on Liberia, we discuss everything Liberia. From education to politics, arts and culture, entertainment, agriculture, history, religion, family, and technology. Focus on Liberia uncovers and showcases the best of Liberia and shows the world the truth about Liberia. We educate, elevate, and promote all things Liberia. We conduct interviews, panel discussions, debates, and more. Tune in to Focus on Liberia on Facebook and YouTube and be a part of the stories that make up the news. This is Focus on Liberia, and I am Dennis Jack. Mr. Weeks, we are so happy to have you today, and uh, we want to welcome you back. But uh, I know we cover a lot of ground. This was uh, to get us to know Lena a little bit more. Let's close with your closing remarks, and uh, hopefully you can come back anytime. We're open. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Ja. I'm so, so happy uh, to be on this platform, and uh, I like uh, all your all your guests, uh, not your guests, or your uh, those watching uh, 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 your uh, this particular show. All of them were very, very respectful. They came across as, uh, you know, with authentic views. And uh, this is something that I hope other platforms will emulate. And I told you, whatever help we can give, uh, you know, to move uh, this particular style of, uh, of discussion for our country, where people can come with their honest view, even in spite of whether you disagree with them, or not you know uh, uh there's no man cause and all of that i read all those comments they were all respectful nobody you know insulting the president or casking uh, uh what it's name on their own country and all of that and uh, i like all all of what i see and uh, it's my hope but uh, um and this president gets up every morning he's fighting for liberia fighting for his country and making sure that uh everything works especially with the little resources we have here and uh our healthcare sector is challenged and all these things so we've done it before with COVID. uh the first the second wave now the third wave is here because of we uh, because of our generosity uh, and hospitality uh it, it got slipped into the country so we're, we're we're praying and hoping that uh 
we will tackle this and uh, this too will pass and uh, we will be able to move our country forward and i'm looking forward to 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 be on your on your show as a guest anytime you call me thank you so much someone is saying that i shouldn't forget to ask you about the league audio from w l w s c i don't know about l, l audio and uh, Mr. Wings, if you can put in a word for us, we want the president to uh, come here so we can have an interview, we can have a talk. That would be great. That would be great. I will share it with uh, 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 the press secretary. I think if the president will go on any platform, this should be the place that he should come because he will get uh, all the respect and all of that. Uh, I think uh, you guys are doing a great job. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining us. And Mr. Weeks, thank you so much for your time. Until then, on behalf of all of us here at Focus on Liberia, my name is Dennis Jai, and I say, before we end, we always play our song that says, we are all Liberians. We are Liberians. Liberia is our Liberia people.